the scat, the saw, the pole. I got it. How you gon' survive if I leave full of hoes? Huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys. Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G. G a ho, the scat, the saw, the pole. I got it. How you gon' survive if I leave full of hoes? Huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys. Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G. Peace, peace, y'all. We're shaking with it, man. You already know how it's going down, and you know what it is. This is your boy, your dog, your homie, J-Hood and all that. And you are now locked back in with the kid on yet another episode of Hip Hop or Hood, where we discuss everything hip hop. All right, look, check this out. By now, I know everyone is aware of the fact that Kanye West did an interview with Drink Champs the other day, right? Now, this interview is making its rounds around the internet. Basically, everything he said during this interview is going viral because, you know, it contained a lot of shock value. Um, I share with you guys a couple of the things that he was saying during this interview as far as him speaking about a couple of people, but I also um, left a couple of things out. And one of the things that I left out is the comments that he made about George Floyd, okay? These comments that he made about George Floyd, in my opinion, was insensitive and distasteful, so I decided not to speak on it. But these specific comments are ruffling feathers, and a lot of people didn't like what he had to say. With that being said... Nori is receiving a gang of backlash for allowing him to go on his platform and say the things that he said. Now, um, I'm not saying that the, the, the backlash isn't justified or anything of the sort, because like I said, um, the comments were irresponsible. So I guess him letting Kanye say some of the things that he said was irresponsible journal journalism. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, check out my last video. Be sure to check out the next one. Follow me on Instagram at RealJHood underscore. And until next time, peace. I not realize that the George Floyd statement on my show was so hurtful. And you got to realize it was the first five minutes of, of, of the show. Like when he walked in, he told my producer, he said that if, if, if he, he'll stop um, filming, that he'll walk out. So I didn't want I didn't want a Birdman moment. I didn't want a Birdman moment with y'all, like, you know, where Birdman walked out. So I, I wanted the man to speak. But later on, like, I actually checked him about the George Floyd's comments. I actually checked him about uh, the White Lives Matter. But it was so later in the episode, and it was so... It was so, like, you know, I was already inebriated at that time that maybe people looked over it. Mm -hmm. But I apologize to the George Floyd family. I apologize to anybody that was hurt.